Jayla and Jacob, my 14 and 12 year old, felt like these bunnies needed a, a good bath, so they got them out, gave them a bath, and now they're being spoiled, wrapped up in towels. I just wanted to get this on video because it's funny. These girls are albino New Zealands. You can kind of see a little pink in their eye. Let's try this one. You can see a little bit of pink. Um, they're really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> All relaxed. Getting totally spoiled. She's getting closer and closer, and it's only been three days. She's timing down pretty quickly. I almost got to pet her. She's eaten out of my hand several times. Yeah, she ate out of my hand this morning. And Jessica's hand. She's only four. And I think Jacob's hand earlier, maybe. Hey, girl. We think we're going to call her Jubilee, but not 100% sure yet. Seems we got the most votes for Jubilee. What died is all when when to move the animals around here today because we gotta fix their pen because the donkey loves the rabbits and she was trying to get to them and so we just need to fix it. They just, just kind of bent out of shape and they got out so then they got a bath. They dried off and they were in this other pen and they love it in there. But we need an extra pen right now because the neighbors, goat and donkey, are over here. They're both male. And they are both making our lives difficult. I'll show, the, show them to you. They're in timeout right now. They're in timeout because they've been bad. We're waiting on the neighbor to get home to come get them. Don't know how he's going to get them, though. They won't follow him. <laughs> Don't hurt yourselves, guys. Just sit still. He's going to be here any time. <laughs> the goat is Herman, and I don't know the donkey's name, but they've both been causing us all kinds of problems this week. And the donkey was actually hurting our donkey a little bit, so we had to try to separate them. That was the best we can do for now. Oh, but she was kicking him. Yeah, she was putting up a fight. Bad boys. Herman, better straighten up or you're going to be supper. <laughs> it's like she doesn't want to be around the other donkey, but she doesn't want to leave him. <laughs> Come on, girl. They know what that is. <laughs> Come on, Jubilee. They're getting all tangled. Jubilee. Come on, girl. Follow Jayla. You're kind of distracting her. She's not looking at me. What's she looking at? I think she's looking at the donkey. She loves him, but she hates him. Okay. She can't make up her mind. Come on, girl. I see where he bit you several times, it looks like. Yeah, she's getting there though. Hold on. Hey, you're getting in the bag. Come here. All right, we'll do Felicity first. Come here, girl. Yeah, there she goes. 
My goodness. So impatient. Goodness. You must be starving. <laughs> All right, now here, here we go. Look at there. Good girl. Give me one more to Felicity. And Daisy's going to help herself. All right. Here you go, Jubilee. Yeah, there you go. Good girl. Oh, she kind of let me pet her a little bit. All right. A little bit more on the shovel there. And she usually eats with them, but she's wanting more out of my hand. Yeah, it's like the most she's ever let me touch her. She's so sweet. <laughs> the three of them are pretty good friends. Yeah, you're so sweet, aren't you? All right, I'm gonna tell you what happened last night. So, <laughs> I think she's gonna follow me. So, um, I forgot to get it on video, didn't think about it at the time, but the neighbors came over and got their donkey and their goat. By the way, their donkey's name is Walter. So the donkey is Walter, the goat is Herman. And what they decided is that they're hoping a friend of theirs who has a female goat will trade for the donkey because her friend really likes animals. The donkey's really the one that's been the problem. My goodness, our yard is messy. But the donkey is the one that's been the biggest problem for them. So they're hoping to trade their donkey for their friend's goat. And they were hoping that would happen last night, but I don't think it did. Because I'm walking down here um, to show you where their donkey was coming into our yard. I don't know if it did the first time, but we know it did one time came in this way. I'll be back. I'll be back, girl. <laughs> She's looking at me. <laughs> All right, we can weed through all these weeds. <laughs> wade through all these weeds. Okay, over here on our fence line. Somewhere over here. Well, maybe it was, looks like they replaced the board completely. Where those wooden posts are. Yeah, I think that's where she got through at. I didn't actually come down here last night, but I know the place they were talking about. Because this board on the ground here used to be, I mean, it's rotting, it's failing big time. And it used to be right there on the fence, like blocking that. I don't know if that used to be a gate or what. Probably did. But uh, that's where she pushed through, I guess broke the board off of there. It was just nailed on. <clears throat> broke it off and came through that way. And so they repaired it last night, the neighbors and my 12 and 14 year olds, Jayla and Jacob, they repaired it and it looks pretty good. This is the first time I've seen it. So anyway, that's, I guess that's the update. Uh, we finally did get them to go back home. Actually, when they first took them over, um, they drove I think they drove back and the donkey followed. They had, they had to go get the leash though because he came back over and this is how he came over that time. So I went and got his leash, his halter and leash and he actually walked with them and then um, Jayla and Jacob walked over there to their property with them with, with a little bit of feed so that Herman would follow. It was kind of funny and I really wish I got it on video because we have kind of a long driveway and it was just the, the two neighbors, my two kids, and the goat and the donkey. It was, it was just funny, all walking down the driveway together. <laughs> but anyway, I think they're taking care of the problem, and 
we may split the cost with them to put a hot wire along the top of this fence here. You can see there used to be one. So we'll have to figure that out. But for now, at least, I think everything's under control. I think they have both of their animals in the barn for the day. And I know they're trying to resolve it. We're not upset about this or anything. Kind of feel a little bit responsible because they have two male animals and all of our animals are females. <laughs> and we just got one of the goats and a donkey and their, their animals are just wanting over here so bad. So I kind of feel a little responsible, but ours are staying on our land and we have the right to own animals too. So, you know, I don't feel too bad, but I'm not upset with them or anything. It happens. Um, all right, I guess that's the update. And I'll get this posted. And y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.